Oh, I forgot to put on my gloves. Oh well. I stalled a little bit there. That guy didn't stop for crap. Oh well. Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. I have not been on my scooter in actually quite a while. Except for riding around the block, keeping the battery charged and keeping fresh gas in the carburetor, I have not been out on the scooter for quite a while and I figured it was high time that I took it out and opened her up a little bit. We're going to do that today and uh, I just wanted to thank you guys for the 900 subscribers. It's a milestone. Thank you very much. Very close to being monetized now. Right now instead of asking you to subscribe, there's, everybody's just running the lights. Um, Instead of just asking you to subscribe, I'm going to ask you to not unsubscribe because uh, I haven't been out, don't really deserve it, especially for this little video, but uh, we still have that heat dome over Texas, and uh, like yesterday it was 107 degrees. We got one day of relief, really, where it stayed basically at 100 degrees, which is really nice. Uh, it's a little after nine o'clock and it's already getting hot especially when you're just sitting here at a light so right now it is uh, early morning still in the low 90s which is not bad really uh, because the uh, humidity hasn't been too bad just want to let you guys know what's coming up on the channel in the future First of all, we're going to do a long ride. Now, this heat dome can't last forever. As a matter of fact, I think we're on the cusp of breaking. Um, and uh, start cooling down a little bit. And I'm talking about like cooling down to normal summer temperatures. Because right now I can ride and this is fine. The only thing is if I do any ride of note by the time I got back, I would be well into the 100 and mid hundreds my wife and I uh, you know we you know we had the Grom and the monkey and you've seen them on this channel well we finally reached our 600 mile maintenance threshold uh, I've got a little over 600 miles my wife is closing in on it real quick and uh, so it's time for our first 600 mile maintenance, which actually is not bad. It's, act it's actually much easier than it was for the ruckus because all it entails is a oil change. So that oil change will be coming up soon. Ooh, something dead back there. You can smell it. So school is back in session, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, what that means is that these fields are being used for soccer and baseball, especially on the weekends. So we don't really have it to ourselves like we used to. Let's go this way, see if it's a viable route. Never done this way before, and maybe entrance ramp to the toll road which I do not want to get on almost got on this toll road I'm hitting the throttle limit now. That's good. I haven't done that in a while. I got it pegged at uh, 38. We could do this. Alright, 
39 miles an hour, not bad. Let's see what Noah sees, says. Well, I'm starting to go uphill. So, uh, it was flashing like I was breaking the law. Was I breaking the law? Ah, couldn't have been. Doing kind of a reverse country loop today. What the heck? The bike feels so good today. I just wanted to ride it a little bit more. This was going to be a shorter trip. You know what, guys? Let us explore a little bit off-road here. I've always been curious about this. I don't think this is somebody's driveway. I think this is the old road. I do a little off-roading. This might be somebody's property. I'm not sure. I gotta watch out for mesquite. I think we're running out of road, guys. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call it up here. I think it goes further, but this may go up to somebody's house. And this is also a place where <laughs> you need to wear gaiters. Let's get over here where I was before, as I am pretty sure there were no snakes here. Watch out for my tires. this curve because uh, just in case something happened to my tire I don't know about yet we'll check it if there's any damage when we get home right now I'm, I'm sure there's not I'm pretty sure I didn't run over anything bad I just keeping a good eye out that's pretty out there I like going this way
God, the roads are horrendous on this side. Try to get a good downhill run before I hit this hill and uh, I had to slow down, it was so bad. On this side, it was looking like that side over there. So what's coming up in the future of the channel? We're going to have, of course, the uh, 600 mile maintenance, which is just uh, oil changes on the Grom and the Monkey. And pretty soon I will be doing a long trip. And uh, I'm not sure yet if it's going to be on the Grom or on the Ruckus. We're going to do camping, of course. And uh, right now, I gotta tell you, I am leaning towards camping on the beach. So we could do something like Port O'Connor. Or better yet, Port Aransas. And Port Aransas would be one hell of a ride. But it'd be fun. You know, it would be a journey. All right, folks, thanks for hanging around. Thanks for getting me to 900. Please help this channel grow and like and subscribe this video and uh, try to get me to 1,000.